Hi, this is Steve from Simplify. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about the new Simplify Integrated Development Environment, also known as the I an IDE, that is included in version 5.1 of the Simplify Security Operations Platform. There are three key enhancements in the new IDE. Improved custom integration capabilities, enhanced integration testing, and finally, new customization options. So with that, let's begin. So let's start by taking a look at our new custom integration capabilities that are built into the new IDE. So if you're familiar with our IDE, you know that in version five, you could create new connectors, actions, and jobs. The thing that we've added in version 5.1 is the ability to create an integration. So let's take a look at how we do that now. So I select, I'm gonna create a new integration. I give it a name, maybe this is security comp X. On the next screen, what I can do is I can once I click into the configuration, I can say this is a custom security product. I could also select an image. And this image is going to be used because these new integrations not only are now in the product, but they will show up in the marketplace. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. The next thing we'll do is we can create any script dependencies that might exist, as well as any parameters that we're going to be requiring for uh, the configuration of this new integration. So maybe it's the API root. And then probably we're going to need some sort of password. So we'll call it password. We can make that mandatory. And we can save that. So the great thing here is not only am I giving now our customers the ability to create these custom integrations and make use of all the great uh, capabilities within the IDE, when we go to the marketplace, here's where this, this really becomes extremely valuable. In the SOC, there are going to be engineers and architects that are going to be doing all of these custom integrations. They're the programmers. Your general security analysts, you don't necessarily, you probably don't want to give them access to that capability because for one they're not really gonna they don't have the program capabilities to make use of it and it brings in a lot of different risks so what you can do here is this is a good good division of labor the engineers and architects create the integrations they publish them to the marketplace and then anyone that needs it can go and access it so this is a great new capability I think the customers are really gonna appreciate this and this really does set our capabilities apart from anyone else so let's go back into the ID and take a look at, at what we're going to do with this new integration. So now I have my integration and now what I can also do is I can now add actions to this integration. So I'm going to give it an action and then I select my integration. So that's going to be my X I create. So now here, if I was a Python programmer, I can go in here and start to create my uh, different actions that I want to take place. Uh, the different parameters, the different uh, things that I want this integration action to do. The other new thing that we've added in this version is the ability to test it. We have this testing capability built into the IDE where you can select a scope. So depending on what action you're doing, it might be entities or users, test cases, these will be actual different playbooks that are that are available. And then you can run it so you can get your results. And this is really going to help the engineers and architects fully test their new integrations before they're published. So this is a great new capability built right into the IDE. So while we're here, if you'll notice, if you're familiar with the IDE, you're probably saying, well, this looks a lot different. Yes, there have been a complete, this is a completely overhauled IDE. So it's much more sle sleeker. Uh, the user interface has been refined. And then also we've done a couple of things I wanna note here. So the first thing is that we're making available the SDK documentation right from the IDE. So as the programmers are working and they have questions or they want to access and maybe look at and research something, they can do that directly from here. The other thing that we're doing is that we are allowing them to make some customizations as far as how the UI looks. So they can change the color. Maybe some programmers like to work on a more uh, white background or they want bigger font sizes. Um, so they can do that here. Very simple, very useful as well as the ability to show invisibles. And then also we've now included the autocomplete capabilities for Python terms that are built directly in the, into the IDE. So the great new thing about this, these improvements in our IDE, the product, our platform has always 
been extremely user simple for the analyst to use. But now we're really confident that our new version, 5.1, is engineer ready. And there you have it, the three key enhancements in our new simplified integrated development environment. For more information, visit us at simplified.co.